them bees found the flower barely opening and they, they seem as though I don't know if they're fertilizing it already. Look at how many bees in there. Well, you could imagine what's going on tomorrow. I have um, some pollen to hand pollinate it when it open, like around 8 o'clock this evening. But the bees beat me to it, man. Hello to the good honey beard. Beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad. I'm Hans T. Yemen and this is another good bees video coming to you. Now if you notice what I have here, I have a super that I already arranged and put in place to make this piece of job real smooth and easy. What I would like to do today is I would like to open up this colony. I see we having an all right enough cloud cover with a pattern. We had a little drizzle just now, so I also retreat a little bit. But today I wouldn't be able to change this brood box. But what I want to do is I want to open it up, put in two foundation, and put in this additional super. If I get a chance, you see they started right up there already. I want to move the box as well and put it over there. So, let me get the smoke. See. See, it have a little. Although I smoke them just now, but like, that means that they will be a little vexed. See that? Yeah, like that at all. Yeah, like that at all, at all, at all. I hope they quiet down. Because I really want to do that that job here today. 
should have done it yesterday but too much rain boy so I'm giving it a try now to see if I could handle this job all right so let me put on my gloves gloves hiding over here that colony over there I want to put them reduce the entrance a little bit so gloves and all these other things here let me see if I can do that as quick as possible they, they already know something is up so um, let me let me find a nice little spot for you now you know I like to make sure you're comfortable and thing now right you done you already know what is that going on do so you just have to sit down here and hope that these don't bother you to the point where you might have to skip that all out of here but if that happens don't run you know you gotta keep me company man all right so let me see if i can angle you so that you can see if i have to move the colony it'll be easy how you like that day right i'll come and shift you around a little bit more as we go along I also had to do a little repair on this glove. I had to use a little duct tape. I have two holes there. Last time the bees plant a couple stings. And my finger is there through those two holes. So, knowing that, you can't come back here and make the same mistake again. In beekeeping, you could only make mistake once, you know. If you do it twice, it's a habit. So whatever you get, you gotta take it. All right, so here we goes. Wish me luck.
and we put it in position four and seven. Seeing that they're behaving so good, after now, I will show you the reason why I want to put, put it in 4 and 7. You see what I'm talking about? When I put this in position 7, they will build it out real fast. But the, the other frame there is the same way. Pack with brood. Pollen. This side packed with pollen, the other side have the brood. Okay, now to move them, it's another task by itself, I want to move the box and put it on top there, then I'll fix this stand here. Close up to you, don't get frightened. Come into it, don't worry about it. They just have something I didn't anticipate. I have a, I have a piece of wood. 
have a piece of wood under the crossway on the bottom board so make it uneven Okay, success. Let's, before the bees get wise, let's go and take a look. Right? Look at the pollen I'm talking about. That whole thing pack up with pollen. That is too much pollen for inside it. So, this is, this is doing them a good job by arranging it like that. Four and seven is my pattern. And um, they're going to below that in no time. And now I'll go and put on back the Queen Excluder. Lots of bees on the ground. I can't, I can't avoid that right now. So, what I will do, I'll put the Super that I bring, which is the empty super um, built out comb on top of the, top of the, soup, on top of the Queen Excluder. And then I'll put on the, the super on top there, the one that was there originally. Okay, so there is something I would like you to come closer to, to see with me. Now you see what's going on down inside eh? One. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost all of them um, seal. So if I don't come and give them that super to work, then you're looking for problems. You understand? The bees and them will start settling back down there now. But what I would like to do, I'd like to take out this frame here, put it in the end, so that they'll be able to seal up this completely by the time I come back in a day or two. So far, um, I have to put this down right there now. Hold on. Some bees get this place on the ground there, but I'll pick them up just now. Yeah. They would love what I'm doing here for them, man. They might be a little slanted, but I can't really put that right now. I know you can see. So you see this one here, in the middle, it's full up, but it's not totally sealed. So the reason why I'm 
stripping them around so that they will be able to seal up all when I come back here. So when I go to extract, everything will be sealed. Usually the two end frame is like that, but in this case I wouldn't change the one on the left, only the one on the right. See all it left, all it left for me to do now is to cover them back up. See when you slide the cover diagonally like that, the bees don't get crushed. You save the lives of the bees. Alright. So that is them there. And the reason why I put them at that different location is because they they have to be moved again. Every time I come, I want to see if I could move them that much closer to to their spot higher up higher up there right I don't know if you've seen me or what in a way oh yeah man okay So I'll be taking away these, which have a lot of pollen in it, and some brood to put it somewhere else. Mother Nature for giving me the opportunity to do that job. For you all for viewing and helping by way of your company. Don't forget, I need a couple of things done. And the only thing I could the only person could do it is you. When you look at the video, um, like and share, subscribe, bring the bell icon I'm on. And um, you'll get more good videos uh -huh. coming here. Directly in your mailbox. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up too. Eh? Alright, so next time when I come here, I'll quick clean the... Oh, you're not seeing. You can I see something, man? Alright, let me get myself organized. Next time I come, 
I'm going to clean the back and carry them even further. It's just three feet, three to four feet every time. And you see where that tall tin tree is there? They're going in that area. So let's say one, two, three, four, maybe five more times to move them. And they should be on spot. All right, so enough for this one. Let's go over on the other side. I'm gonna move these things out of the sun so it doesn't melt. But sometimes the sun does come down here real strong, you know. All right. What I'm doing with the other one on the other side is very simple. What I notice is the entrance is too is too widely open. So what I what I notice happening is um that um contributing to the wax mud problem. But now that I'm here, I'm looking for the piece of metal shim that I brought. I can't seem to find it. What did I do with that shim boy? So you see, you will have a plan, and sometimes it'll work out, you know. But I hope them people come and interfere with my, my shim, you know. All right, let, me, let me see if I can locate it and come back at you. Hold on. Okay, ladies, I'm here to give an assistance. To all your situation with this wax mat. So I'm going to use this piece of shim. I'm just going to reduce this entrance by that much. I had a wider piece, but I can't find it. I don't know where this up here. And that's all you need. Just that little piece of shim there. This other colony doing good on its own. You don't need no shim. But what I also want to do is to move up these colonies a little way. But I don't think I could do that today, you know. How do you better looking? Could I chance it or not? Yeah, man. Maybe I could give it a try. Eh? If I could move it where that red thing is there. That'd be nice. All right, let me see if I could do that. Hold on there. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can move that colony there now. To that new spot. Too much, so now it's time to leave. We have overstayed our welcome. See what I'm talking about those Africanized bees? I would always like to do something, you know. All right, so let me take a look and see all right they seem to be finding the, the new site and they're walking up all right okay good 
Always double check, eh? Sometimes you need to triple check too. So now that they, they are sufficiently agitated and they can't get to me because I made sure that I prepare well. Um, let me just move this thing here. Too much in the same spot. So when they come back to that location there, they will not find it, but they will find it, find it there. All right, let me get out of here before things get too wet. All right, TTFN, come and look, come and um, do some beekeeping with me again, now, man. Looking out for you. All right, later. All right, so here's the thing. When I say I've come. I come prepared well. I, I, I don't know if you can see me there, but this is like it. See, I have on the veil, and inside here, I have on three shirt with a sponge. We just call it sponge, but it's foam. A piece of foam, quarter inch foam, put around my collar so that the bees wouldn't be able to go through it's like this this mesh cloth mesh here they wouldn't be able to go through the mesh and sting me so i didn't get any sting except one sting i get on my hand here but that is understandable because i had to take all the, the gloves to make the adjustments to the camera so you'll get a, a real nice view of what i'm doing you see it Long sleeve shirt. If you don't do this, and I have to move fast because by the time these shirt get saturated with sweat, that is when they will start to these will start to sting. Right? I have this other one here now. I ain't see none of them fellas. Eh? Nice acreage we have here, you know. 12 acres and they, they abandoned me so I have to come back here and try to start back this, this apron right so that is that is the good honey that's what I have there and um, yeah man so this is another good bees video coming to you I hope you enjoy it and come back here for a couple more um, in a time you know don't rush me you know. All right, so I'm going to um, take these to the backyard be be apri, and those two two um, deep frames with the resources in it. They are brood. They have pollen. They have some nectar. Um, so I'll take that back, and of course, you see how you have to tie up your shoes. So it wouldn't um, bees they usually would go down inside here and when they smell flesh they will sting so you have to make sure you suit up that close it up lace it up real nice okay folks so thanks very much for coming and we look forward to seeing you pretty soon bye for now ttfn for all those who are new and don't know even for the ones who are not new, you like this video? Yeah man, that's what we're talking about. Also, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. TTFN.